Hello, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Final Fantasy XIV. Today we're just going to be continuing the quest into the investigation of the missing villagers. So without further ado, let's get this show on the road. What say we turn night to the common folk themselves? It may be among them that we find the reasons for these vanishings. Twelve forbid it be so. There's a merchant by the name of Ungust who was born here in Dryborne and grew up in the Golden Bazaar. A rough character, but he knows the people here better than anyone else. I'd wager he's at the inn, quaffing away the day's earnings. Yeah, I'll write a note for you to show him, else he's not like to speak to you. Right, uh, no we don't want to accept his uh, free company invite. Yes, we want to decline it. So we'll just uh, head over to here, where the minimap seems to be saying it is. And uh, there he is. Oh, wait a second. This uh, looks like the guy from the last quest. Same hairstyle, same clothes and everything. Well, gods be damned. You're that bloody adventurer who threatened me back in Uldar. What in the seven hells do you want with me now? A few words scrolled in code by Isambard of Drybone. Okay. Dear friend. Missing people. Please help. Yours, Isambard. Walk around here as wary as they come. They'll turn tail and run of you so much as pass wind nearby. Played them all for fools and coaxed some hard labour out of them, I did. If anything, they're even more timid than before. What with all the disappearances? You can go talk to them yourself if you don't believe me. Alright, let's go do that, but uh, why did we have to where uh, speak with that guy? Ugh. But please, sir, just leave me be. I have nothing to say about this. Foul take who or whatever's been feeding off us low folk. Okay. How about you then? But what do you want from me? I d d don't know anything. I swear. Please don't kill me. Alright. So uh, let's head back to our friend and uh, tell him what we've learned. Just as I told you, wasn't it? A whole lot of them are terrified. There's been talk of folk getting abducted, but if you ask me, they simply up and moved on to a better place. This place isn't exactly Costa del Sol, if you know what I'm saying. Alright, so now we need to go back to Isambard. There he is, just at the well, as usual. Welcome back, Elric. Have you learned aught of import? I see. I suppose I should have expected as much from Ungust. Well, another thought occurred to me in your absence. The common folk are nothing if not fervent in their religious beliefs. Perhaps if they speak freely to their gods, then the clergy may know something of use. Alright, let's see what we got. Uh, yeah, no, it's a headpiece. Uh, one, two, two, two. Yeah, I think the one that I've got slightly better, so I'll just take the cash. Alright, uh... If we would know what the common folk speak of to their gods, we've no better place to ask than at the church of St. Adama Landama. It is a small and humble church found in the northwest of here. And so long as you are headed there, might I ask you to deliver this embalmed corpse? A morbid request, I grant you, but must be born to burial, and I trust none more than you to see it done. Seek out a man named Marx. He tends the graves of the lichyard. He will tell you where the body is to be interred. Right, so uh, I believe it's just around this corner and you can get out of town this way, I think. So just head up here. And it should be on the left somewhere, I believe. Right, uh, I am marked. Yes, a body, of course. There, there have been so many bodies of late. I, I apologise, sir. If you seek a place of burial, then there's an empty grave atop the ridge. Take the path and lay him to rest there. Right, so where is this uh, path? Uh, is it around here? No. Not seeing any paths here, apart from the one that leads back to town. Um, where are we going? 
Um, just over here, the quest marker says that's here. Um, nope, there doesn't seem to be anything in this area. What the heck? Embalmed corpse, can I use that there? No, uh, what's going on? Okay, I tell you what, I'll come back to you guys uh, once I figure this out, otherwise I'm going to be here quite some uh, time trying to figure out what's going on. <laughs> right, uh, I finally figured out where I was meant to be going with uh, this uh, corpse. It was just up this little corner here, but it was such a bit in shadow that I couldn't actually tell that it was meant to be up there. <laughs> okay, never mind. Let's uh, use that corpse. And uh, let's come back down again. Oh, wait, do we need to come back down? Oh, no, we don't. We need to uh, use this. <laughs> Bury it. <laughs> May they all walk in Fal's realm. What? Missing people? I, I'm afraid I cannot help you. But maybe Sister or our son can? She has been kind to me. Everyone. Everyone has been so kind. I don't know why, though. I... Pardon me, you will find Sister Awasen within the church walls. I hear you have done us the service of burying a fallen soul. Please accept our gratitude and extend it to Isambard when next you see him. Hmm. You seek knowledge of missing dryborn inhabitants? It is true, I am closer to the people than any other of the Order. I confide in them and they in me. When they wish to speak to their keeper Fal, I am the medium through which they do. Should I learn anything pertinent, I will be sure to share the information with you. Hmm, I only wish Marks would be more helpful in the matter. I pray he did nothing to offend. He saw terrible things during the calamity. His scars run deep. Indeed, he seems to now prefer the company of the dead over the living. Well, tragic, I fear such behaviour ill befits the church. I received word not long ago that one of our recent visitors, a man called Fancred, I believe, took offence at his conduct. I must have words of Marks and soon. Hey, uh, speak with Isambard Camp Tribal. Yeah, we'll just teleport there for quickness. Alright, uh, back up to the well. Thank you, Elric. A burial is no easy thing, even when they departed as a stranger. Were you able to learn aught of the missing common foe? You've been keeping yourself rather busy of late, haven't you, Elric? Pleasure, my dear Isambard. The name is Fancred, and I share a passion with you and our mutual friend here for learning what has become of these missing persons and why. I too spoke with Ungust, more times than I care to count seems to be some truth to this notion of the common folk speaking their secrets only to those in service to the gods. Frustration, prayer, penance, abject deeds done behind closed doors away from prying eyes. Who better take the pious unawares than she who takes confession, the good sister Awasun herself? Awasun? She wouldn't. She couldn't. Even the most beautiful roses have thorns, my friend, and you would be wise to keep an eye to this rose. Still, the lich keep her marks. I'd swear to the twelve I've seen that face elsewhere before. Um, comparison to the three, three. Nope, my current one is slightly better. Take the money again. Right. Let's start our then. It cannot be. Though she is wont to travel to the Golden Bazaar on her own, and it is not uncommon to see her speaking to the children. But, no. It could not be she, could it? Hmm. I grow wary of these suspicions. I know there is one child in particular that she is fond of. Pray seek out the boy, Elric, and see if you cannot glean something from him about our son's activities. Alright, and where would this boy be located? Back at the church again. Right, uh, we might cut this bit out as there's a lot of back and forth at the moment with uh, travelling all over the place. <laughs> right, and here we are at the Golden Bazaar, ready to find this, uh, this urchin. 
who uh, might have some information for us. Please help. Sister Allison went out all on her own and hasn't come back. She always reads me right here about Fallon, the Order, and the other side. I told her I lost my shiny thing and went looking for it. But what if the monsters outside hurt her? Please find her. Okay, um, to the east. Right, I'm guessing that's the location up ahead with the purple circle. Normally it tends to be for these kind of quests. And there she is. Oh, this is not uh, too good. Thankfully, we're hugely over leveled thanks to the uh, experience uh, bonuses that uh, Square gives us. <laughs> right. Now, our turn, what have you got to say for yourself? You. You are the one from the church. Thank goodness you arrived when you did. It seems my gratitude is yours yet again. You spoke with the child? Yes. Well, I was able to find his lost trinket. It is a ring given him by his mother before she passed. I will see it safety back to him. Okay, so I guess we're heading back to... Oh, all the way back to Camp Dryborn again. So much travelling in this quest, right? Uh, teleport... Uh... Yeah, we're going to have to teleport out. Yeah, I could have just done it from the map. Never mind. <laughs> Bit unusual that I shouldn't be going back to the lady herself rather than straight back to uh, Dryborn and Isambard, but uh, okay. <laughs> the Star Wars was attacked outside the Golden Bazaar. God's forfend. I will secure a room at the inn for her should she require any rest. Searching for the mementos of orphans. And risking her own well-being in the doing, no less. Certainly not the dastardly deeds Fancred would have us believe. Um, let's see. Uh, nope, the old ones are better, so we'll take the cash again. I am well glad I reserved that in-room for Sister Awison. It seems she received greater injuries from her attackers than she initially let on. Thankfully, she is expected to make a full recovery. But now, on to the matter at hand. Fancred came looking for you once more. He left word that he will be waiting at the Amaljan encampment to the southeast. I pray the two of you are able to uncover some evidence regarding these disappearances. Right to the southeast. Uh, where is that? Alright, I see now. Quite some distance. Uh, I think this might be another moment that we'll uh, cut out the travel again. <laughs> Right, and here we are. I'm not on Fancred's position. There he is, just up there. And what's happening? Ah, there you are, Alric. So good of you to come. Indeed, I've heard all about good sister Awasen. Isambard said her wounds were serious. It would seem my suspicions about the poor Rose were misplaced. But false though they were, perhaps my suspicions were not entirely without merit. Whilst following sister Awasen near the Golden Bazaar, a band of Amaljar caught my eye. I tracked them as far as this encampment, but, well, let us say that I would much prefer to keep my distance and remain here. This, of course, brings me to why I requested you, dear Alric. Would you be so kind as to take a look inside? Uh, okay. Uh, not too far to go. That place right by the torch, I think. Right. These guys might not uh, attack us straight away, seeing as we're quite a considerable uh, level higher than them, but uh, let's take them out just in case. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's good. And that's it. Dead. Brilliant. Uh, we are leaflet. Come on. Thank you. The Amaljan encampment. Alright, deliver the leaflet to Fancred. Okay, okay. Well, did anything tickle your fancy? This leaflet. Say the wealth of Nald to the hands of your children. Looks to be some sort of assembly to provide the poor with work. Lettering, though. Atrocious, is it not? 
and these bits about Naldfall seem somewhat less than studied. I find it hard to believe one among the order penned this. Shall we take this to the inn at Camp Dryborn? Let us see what Sister Owison makes of it. Okie dokie, uh, back to Camp Dryborn again. So much back and forth in this quest. <laughs> Right, uh, Sister Awasen. Looks like she's over here somewhere uh, in this inn. Uh, in this room? Nope. Must be the next one. Yep, there she is. My saviour comes again. To what do I? To what do I owe the honour this day? What is this? Blasphemous. These are not our teachings at all. This was not made by any true brother or sister of the Order. Of that, I can assure you. Come to think of it, weeks ago the church was plagued by missing garments. Could someone be posing as a priest of the Order to deceive the people? What thickens, Alaric? Our culprit pretends to be a priest to lend credence to his deception. There's no doubt an irony in there somewhere, but I suspect we have a worthy adversary on our hands. I shall consider how best to handle this. For now, tell us and bard what we have learned here. Okie doke. Someone uh, dressing up and pretending to be uh, one of the member of the church, spreading uh, spreading lies. <laughs> Posing as a priest, to think. These troubling notions aside, it is gratifying to finally be able to move this investigation forward. Thank you once again, Elric. I shall keep my ears and eyes open, now more than ever. Uh... Yeah, it looks like the ones have got better again. Take the cash again. Right. Let's see. I'm afraid I have not seen any unusual activity. Nor have any at this camp given me cause to doubt them. But unless we can identify the culprit and soon, more innocents will fall victim. Do not despair just yet, my friend. An idea occurs to me. Our suspect has been posing as a priest, using leaflets bearing false promises to lure the poor. That Elric and me serve like with like by posing as impoverished souls in need of succour. Ah, I dare to hope that this will yield us the answers we seek. It will be a dangerous undertaking, but you two are more than capable of looking after yourselves. I'm next to useless in a battle, but I can supply the garments for the disguise. These old tunics and slops should serve your needs, so long as you don't mind the smell and the stains. These will serve very well. You have my thanks. Listen, Elric. So as to lay the foundation for our little ploy, we must make it widely known that more vagrants have arrived at the camp, and are desperate for coin. To this end, I want you to don the old garments Isambard has lent us, and beg for work around the camp. Before long, the false priest should catch wind and approach us. Right, uh old one garbed in the weather shepherd's tunic and a pair of work. Right, so we're best to get update our gear set if it's not already, which it is. Um, so open up our armory chest. Uh, the weathered shepherd, the weathered shepherd's tunic, and uh, weathered pair of shepherd's slips. I believe that's the pants. Right, equip those. And they did equip them. Yeah, they did. Yeah. All right. So now we go and speak with the local. Greetings, good sir. Is that what I might assist you with? Oh, I don't believe there is. I'm afraid our wares are very expensive. Mayhap you should rejoin your fellows out at the pond north of Sandgate. And where's this other guy in the next room, I take it? Mm, no. Someone here. We just, uh... Perhaps up above. Okay, we'll leave that one till later. I preach the teachings of Azima the Warden. Hast thou come to partake of the honey of her wisdom? Azima is keeper of the sun and the goddess of inquiry. All is laid bare beneath the light of her divine countenance. Open thy heart to this light, needy child, and thou shalt want for naught till the end of days. Okay, um, how about you? Well... 
the flame captain. Hmm, and you are? Hmm, another refugee by the looks of you. The immortal flames have neither work nor coin for you alike. Be gone, and see to it that you don't make a nuisance of yourself. Uh, right, there's one more, and he should be in the inn before we uh, find this mysterious one that doesn't seem to be anywhere obvious. And I was about to get to the good part. Looking for work, you say? Sorry, but we don't have any openings. Now get out of here so I can finish my story. Alright, so I'm get Ah, there he is. He's up above. Uh, right, so we'll go around this ramp. Wait, there's the stairs. I was going to say, there's no uh, natural way to get there. <laughs> what is it? God's oh, not again. Look, being poor doesn't give you the right to pester whomsoever you like. Why don't you keep of your own kind out by that muddy pond of yours at Drybone? Okay, uh, we'll just hop over here for quickness. And back to Fancred. You have quite a knack for being a nuisance, Alaric. The camp is abuzz with talk of newly arrived vagrants, and though we were unable to attract our wayward transgressor, we were able to learn that the poor have a commune by the pond north of Sandgate to the east of here. The eyes of the authorities did not reach that place, rather ideal for spiriting away hapless souls. Let us go there and wait for the kindly priest to come and offer us aid and comfort. Needless to say, you'll need to remain in disguise. Right, so next up is all the way down at uh, Drybone. I believe there's meant to be in no there's not meant to be any fright there. I think I'm thinking of uh yeah I'm confusing that with uh little Alamigo. Never mind. We'll uh, continue with the story in the next episode as uh we're fast approaching the 30 minute mark. So uh we'll see you guys next time. <laughs>